Thank you. 
Go ahead and welcome you here to the North Greenville Sports Network, where you're catching the game between your Crusaders and the Trojans of Mount Olive. As you just heard, the starting lineup for your Crusaders, number four, Daniel Burchett. Number two, Roger Cowell. Number 21, A.J. Meyer. Number three, Kobe Tate. And number 15, Ryan Mobley. Crusaders will be without one of their top leaders tonight, number two, D.J. Brooks. 
Brooks, not the leading scorer on the team this year as he was in the last two years, but he is a timely player for the Crusaders. TJ will be missed on the court tonight for his uh, ability to be a floor general and his ability to lead the team. Crusaders coming out with a relatively young lineup, two seniors in the lineup for sure, but two freshmen, or uh, one freshman and one redshirt freshman, and then a sophomore. The York Crusaders are fresh off their victory against Pensacola Christian College. They scored their season high 105 points in a game. And we'll see here as Mount Olive controls the tip. And we're underway here in Tigerville. Number 10, Michael Brown will bring the ball in. Pass it over to number four, Alan Treacle. Number zero now at the top of the key, Jamal Matten. And that's Cameron Robinson with the shot. Not all about the hot start as their girls were in the game beforehand. Mobley now for the Crusaders taking the ball. Full court pressure from the Trojans. Michael Brown applying pressure to Mobley. Mobley's trying to get his set started. 18 on the clock to shoot now. First possession starting slowly for the Crusaders. A.J. Meyer takes it baseline, finds a double team. Has it knocked away. And the ball will be retained by the Crusaders. Ten to shoot on the clock for the Crusaders as Daniel Burchett, one of the seniors on the floor for your Crusaders, will inbound. A.J. Meyer screens for Mobley, then gets a screen himself from Roger Powell. Meyer looks inside, now crisscrosses with Daniel Burchett, who works his way inside, takes a hard layup, and it rims out. Rebound by number three, Kobe Tate, and his, his layup will go. There's Tate's first point to the game for the Crusaders. Tate is the leading scorer for the Crusaders this year, averaging about 25 a game. Roger Powell now on the outside. Number 12, Robinson looking inside. Jamal Matten now on the outside, and we'll have our first foul of the game as Kobe Tate will be called for the hold. Tate's first of the contest. Brown win ball, inbound the ball with 20 seconds to shoot for the Trojans. And we'll have our second foul as an illegal screen is called on number 14. Don Pickford. And Mobley brings it up against the court against Brown once again. Crossing midcourt with 22 to shoot. Takes the elusive screen and drives the lane. Finishes right-handed. As they, the Crusaders take their first lead of the day. Treacle now coming down the court, guarded by Burchette. Pushing off Robinson. Staying at the top of the key, now guarded by A.J. Meyer. Working his left, now passing it around the horn. Michael Brown will get the ball in the corner, work his way back up to Treacle, pump fakes, drives right, kicks out to Robinson, has it blocked by A.J. Meyer. Rebound, or deflection reflect, or collected by Roger Cowell. Ball pushed up the court to A.J. Meyer on the far side. Now Mobley will slow the ball down. And crisscrosses with Meyer, who works to his left across the lane. Daniel Burchett works baseline. Tough layup, finishes. <laughs> Crusaders finishing well inside right now. Early on in the first half. 17.39 to go as the Trojans will look to answer. Matten on the outside. Now they reverse the... Reverse the court, all the way over to Robinson. Robinson takes the ball at mid. Now Roger Cowell steps out on Matten, who will take a triple. Can't connect, Mobley the rebound. And the Crusaders will slow the ball down. Mobley makes a hard move to the right. Doesn't find any daylight. Now out to A.J. Meyer, who will take his first shot of the game. Can't connect, Roger Cowell the rebound though. With a fresh 30 to shoot. Roger Cowell looking to reset. And now Burchett's on the outside. Coach Chad Lister in his 25th season calling out the play to his point guard. Burchett now over to A.J. Meyer. Doesn't take the screen from Hal, but gives it back to Burchett. Burchett on the inside. And that'll be number zero, Jamal Matten. John Goff into foul number four, Daniel Burchett. Be Burchett's first of the, of the day. Number 10, Treacle will bring down the ball. UMO looking to get something going offensively now against the Crusaders. They move the ball over to the left wing with Treacle. 
Now to number 12, Robson. Treacle goes baseline. To draw a second foul on Burchette. That'll be his second. Early on now in the first quarter, 16 minutes to go, the senior leader, Daniel Burchette, has two fouls. And Coach Lister wants to sub immediately, bringing in the freshman, Caleb Arrington. Coach Higginbotham for the Trojans taking the opportunity to sub it as well, bringing in number two, Sean Lagamore. That shot. Rebounded by Lauren Moore. Can't finish. Now rebounded by Tate. Mobley now the ball, the ball. Pushing the ball up the floor. Back over to Tate. A.J. Meyer on the left wing now. Working, working against Treacle. Looking on the inside. Now driving to his right. Crisscrosses with Arrington. Hedged off by Treacle. Another hedge by Treacle on A.J. Meyer. Meyer spins back to the right side. Can't finish. The rebound though. Can't finish Tate. And then Tate will pick up his first foul of the day. Kobe Tate picked up his second foul. And Coach, will, Coach Lister will immediately go to his bench, bringing in number 24, Joe Conley. Number 10, Michael Brown will bring down the ball. For the Matched up against Mobley. Now over number four, Treacle. Number 12, now bringing it across back to Brown. Brown hedged off by Conley. Looking on the inside for number two, Laramore. Laramore, tough shot, by, forced by Conley. Tipped out and recovered by the Trojans. Michael Brown now driving, kicks out number four, Treacle. Goes baseline, met by Roderick Howe with a steal. Mobley looking to push the pace now with Roderick Howe trailing. Mobley all the way to the rim, left hand, and it's good. Strong move by the freshman to the rim. And Coach Higginbotham wants a timeout. He is visibly unhappy with his big man. And with that first time out of the game, we'll be back on the Crusaders Sports Network. Welcome back to the Crusader Sports Network here in Tigerville, where your Crusaders lead 8 to 2 with about 15 minutes left in the first half. Yeah, after the last play, Coach Higginbottom for the Trojans, visibly unhappy, bringing in now number 15, Tanner Poole. And immediately, Poole making his impact known as he posts up number 15, Mobley, who will pick up his first foul of the day. Number 10, Michael Brown will inbound the ball for the Trojans. Looking to the corner for number four, Treacle, who works to the inside and has the ball stolen away by Arrington. An incredible defensive play by the freshman. Mobley now trying to call out a play, changing his mind. He now looks inside for Conley. Takes the handoff, comes back around. Mobley now takes it on the right wing. Looking inside for Howe. Arrington comes off the pick, drives to his right, hard layup, can't finish. Now it's number zero, Jamal Matten looking to push. Number 10, Michael Brown. And after that play, and the goal 10 by number 21, A.J. Meyer, the basket by number 10, Jamal Brown will count. 
Gretchen, Michael Brown. Caleb Arrington now to inbound the ball for the Crusaders. Bob was all alone in the corner. Full court pressure now by the Trojans. Looks like a man press. No, it's not anymore. Now across court to A.J. Meyer. Backside to Arrington. Arrington looks to step up. Long two. Can't connect. Roger Cowell the rebound. Steps to the inside. Up and in. A hard rebound fought inside by number 22, Roger Cowell. Screen coming now from 15, Tanner Poole. Down at the top of the key, Jamal Matten. Robson to the end of the... Now to Treacle. Jamal Matten at the top of the stop. Looking inside for Poole. Conley fighting hard inside against Poole. And that shot off by Treacle. Rebounded by number 21, A.J. Meyer. Mobley pushing the pace behind Conley. Now crisscrossing with Arrington. Arrington looks inside, can't find anything. A.J. Meyer at the top of the key now. Mobley on the left wing, looking inside for Howell. The lob pass. Tanner pulls there. Roger Cal, hard fight. However, we're going to have an early travel call in, on Howell. Entering now for the Trojans, number 11, Jonathan Maban. Now it's Mateen on the right wing. Over to Robinson. Now the newcomer, Mabane, at the top of the key. He finds Robinson, takes about a four-footer, and he connects on the floater. Mobley in the corner now. Full court pressure again from the Trojans. Early jump this time. Cross court. Arrington now bringing it into the front court. A.J. Meyer fell down on the play. We're gonna slow, or the Crusaders are going to slow the ball down. Arrington a deep three, and he hits. Arrington, a welcome comer to Coach Chad Lister's squad, shooting 40% from deep this season. Now we have Mabain at the top, guarded by Arrington, getting a screen from Poole, makes the screen now. Over to Mateen, on the wing to Robinson, coming off the screen to his left, working against Howell. Now it's Brown, making a couple moves. Mabain, now he takes a screen from Poole. Over to Mabain, now into Poole. Poole working against Conley, working to the middle lane. Up. And that float shot, that floater drops. Full court pressure once again. Mobley bringing the ball up the court. No early jump this time. Mobley working a man press. He comes across, works down the left side of the lane. Dribbles the baseline, out to Arrington. Arrington will take another triple. That's a little long. Rebound. First controlled by Joe Conley, then fought for by M Mateen. Mateen bringing the ball up the court now for the UMO. Across the court, all the way to Michael Brown on the left wing. Poole fakes the screen, gets the slip. Arrington overmatched, kicks it out. Mateen on the three. Off left. Rebound by Mobley. Incredible team defense by the Crusaders there. Mobley to the lane. Roger Cowell the follow. And he finishes. Crusaders rotating very well defensively right now, even as even against the oversized matchups. A.J. Meyer now on the ball, guarding Robinson. Mateen now over to Mabane in the corner. Mabane, a seven-footer drops. Mobley will throw the ball in now. Now inside to Conley, back out to Mobley. Over to Arrington. Arrington about four steps off the line. He now throws it into A.J. Meyer. Now against Poole. Arrington for the three. Just short. Rebound by Poole. Not all of pushing the pace now. Robinson up the left wing. Stops at the three-point line against Mobley. Mabang for three. And that's short. Rebound by Joe Conley. With 20 to shoot, the Crusaders start their offensive possession. Arrington on the wing. Going to step in, take a 15-footer. Banks it off the glass. Can't finish. Hard rebound fought for by Mateen inside. Michael Brown will now bring the ball up the court. He's going to slow it down. Both teams looking a little winded here about halfway through. Joe Conley steps up to hedge. Over to McBain. McBain drives to the middle of the lane. Tries to finish over. Arrington can't finish. Now tipped out to Robinson with a fresh clock. Around him. Around to Mateen against Howell will take the triple and he will finish. 
Now the official will signal it was a long two. Mobley bringing it up the court. Conley trailing. Now Conley on the left side. He'll take a deep three. Can't hit it. And the ball will bounce over the backboard and out of bounds. That'll take us to our second media timeout of the game. Your Crusaders lead 15 to 12 here on the Crusaders Sports Network. Very well. Roger Howell with four. Caleb Arrington with three. And Ryan Mobley with four. All five players on the court have scored for Mount Olive. Two players from Mount Olive entering for the first time. Number 13, Darius Spragley. And number 14, Don Pigford now coming into the game. Joe Conley with a nice deflection but called for the foul. His first of the evening. Mount Olive will inbound with 20 to shoot. Trico looking inside with the immediate offensive foul called on the illegal screen. That's number 14, Don Pickford called for his second. And he'll be immediately replaced by Poole. Reading in the game for the Crusaders is the senior, number four, Daniel Burchett. Coach Lister trusting his senior with two fouls to stay out of foul trouble for the second half. Nico Jackson seeing his first time with the Crusaders now. As he'll pass over to Rochette on the corner. Rochette now looking to Nico Jackson, still in the left wing. Arrington in the corner now for three, and he'll hit. For he's such a young player, Arrington does shoot the ball well, very well from the three-point range. Roger Howell now on the wing, guarding Mateen. Mabane will take one over. And Arrington, the defensive rebound. Danico Jackson will bring the ball up the right wing. Looking to crisscross, can't find it. He comes back upside, resets. Arrington now, back over. He looks inside, crosses court now. Now back over to Nico Jackson. Now over to... Rochette, who will try for three and can't connect. Rebound fought for inside. Mabane pushes the ball up the court now. Treacle on the wing. He pushes over to Mateen. Goes the, thir the newcomer, number 13, Darius Spragley, and he'll be called for the travel. Nico Jackson now crossing midcourt. Reverses court now over to Arrington on the wing. He looks inside. Now reverses court. Daniel Rochette at the top of the key. He looks for Arrington. Arrington now back out through there to Rochette. Rochette working to his right. Now finds the Nico Jackson on the Chris. He crosses number 13. Now out to Arrington again for three. A little long as the buzzer sounds. Joe Conley saves the ball, but Trico recovers it. 
UMO now pushing the five on four break. Mabane, the transition three, and he hits. Danico Jackson now bringing the ball down. Crusaders still lead by three. Jackson getting his play ready. Pass over to Burchett. Burchett on the wing, taking the screen from Conley. Conley, no roll. Now Burchett will work to his right. Spins back, can't find anything. Roderick Howell not ready for the ball, but recovers. Burchett on the in line. Cross, tries a floater in the middle lane, and he finishes hard over Mateen. Treacle now bringing the ball down. Over to Mateen. Spragley on the wing, matched up against Burchett. Hard hedge from Joe Conley, now recovers the pool. An incredible steal by Danico Jackson, who rushes down the court and will finish at the other end. Treacle coming down the court, Mateen. Danico Jackson locked in. Now we have Mabane, Mateen, and Spragley on the far side. Now he moves to the top. He's working against Burchett, looking inside. Mabane comes off a double screen inside, tries to fire from three, can't hit. Burchett takes the ball, the defensive rebound, slows it down to Nico Jackson. Nico over to Conley. Conley thought about the three, couldn't find anything. Nico Jackson now steps back, 19 to shoot on the clock. Roderick Howell now comes out. Conley sets a double screen. Ball looks inside to Roderick Howell. Works to his left, spins back to the middle lane, tries the floater, can't hit. Ball deflected around and out, and last touch by the Crusaders. After a long, after a long run, Joe Conley now coming out, replaced by number 32, Spencer Kirkpatrick. And Coach Lister will rest his senior, number four, Daniel Burchett, and replacement for number 15, Ryan Mobley. Michael Brown now in the game. Working into Nico Jackson. Mabane and now against Kirkpatrick. Arrington, Spragley now. Mateen sets the screen. Hard hedge by Roger Powell. Out to Nico Jackson. Now we got a battle inside. Out to Mabane. Working to the middle of the lane. Fighting against Roger Powell. Hard block. But the Nico Jackson was inside the circle when he took the charge. For those of you who might be basketball connoisseurs or just used to the high school game, in college you are not allowed to take a charge within the circle painted at each side of the court. Levain will shoot two now. As he misses the first one. Levain, a 76% free throw shooter, has shot very well in the year. Found his rhythm from three earlier today. And there's the second. Another full court pressure, an immediate trap from the Trojans. Cross court to Mobley. Mobley now steps back, looking cross court again. Goes the diagonal pass, but airmails it out of bounds to Arrington. Crusaders will now look to try to get a stop after the turnover. Michael Brown now bringing the ball down. Coach Hemington. Higginbotham, excuse me, calling out his set. Spragley working the baseline, can't find any room. Back out to Mateen. Mateen tries the baseline against Roger Howell. Reverse layup, good. Danico Jackson now takes the ball over to Mobley. Trap coming from the UMO. Up the court to Arrington. Arrington working down. Tries to find Spencer Kirkpatrick. And after he collects the ball, gets a jump ball call. The Crusaders will retain possession with the jump ball. Joe Conley on the inside now on the inbounds. Can't finish. Ball knocked around and eventually collected by Mobley. Pushing the four on five break. Nico Jackson in the corner now. Tries the jab step on Michael Brown. Doesn't work. 
Mobley at the top of the key. Pushing down to his right, step back jumper from 20. Bounces around, can't finish. Mateen the rebound. Mateen bringing it down now against Roderick Howell. Spragley on the inside, works against Arrington. Mateen from three, over Howell. Rims out, Danico Jackson the good rebound. Pushing the back a little by Mateen, no call. Danico Jackson now to the wing. Finds a little room on the inside, up and off the glass. Michael Brown bringing it down now. Crosses over, trying to get room against Nico Jackson. Mabane now on the outside, thought about the open three, couldn't, didn't pull. Spragley reverses court to Michael Brown. Takes a screen from Mateen, hard, hard hedge from Roger Powell. Now looking inside to Mateen. Out to Spragley, Spragley works to his left, finds a double. Now Treacle kinds of go on the side. Michael Brown the three off the assist from inside rebound by Treacle. Rejected by Joe Conley. That ball sent down with authority. Danico Jackson now working to his left. Arrington comes off the, off the screen. Working his right to the middle of the lane. Back cut. Mobley behind the back to Roger Cowell. Middle of the lane. And he finishes. An incredible play from a young player in Mobley to throw the behind the back pass there. Brown down the middle of the lane. Another rejection by Roderick Howe. And that'll take us to our final media timeout of the game. Your Crusaders lead 26-18 here on the Crusaders Sports Network. We're in the last four minutes of play here in the first half. Your Crusaders are leading the Trojans 26 to 18. And if we had some replay, I'd love we could show you that last play by Ryan Mobley and Roger Howe. An incredible assist from Mobley behind the back to Howe, who finished on the inside in front of the rim. Right now, Michael Brown's trying to inbound with 20 to shoot under his own basket. He's looking inside for Mateen, but couldn't find him. Threw it out to Spragley now. Bradley trying to take the screen from a team who rolls into the inside. Cross court to Robinson. Michael Brown saves the ball from going out of bounds. Guarded by Danico Jackson. Powell on the, on the screen. Robson from three. And he connects. Late in the shot clock. Crusaders playing extremely great, extremely, extremely well defensively right now. The Trojans just sticking in there offensively. That ball mishandled by Mobley on the close side of the court. And then eventually turned over. As incredible as that young freshman is, he does have the, he does have moments of looking like a freshman. Spragley inbounds the ball. They look inside for Mateen. He looks for the back cut now. Working against Hal. Middle lane tries to finish on the left. Up and in. Hal inbounds to Nico Jackson. We have full court pressure again from Mount Olive. Nico Jackson, a little more senior player, bringing the ball down the court. Taking the screen from Joe Conley, throwing it up for Roger Cowles, who saves it to Mobley. Mobley from the corner, can't connect. Joe Conley, though, the rebound. 
And as he was working inside, trying to find space, he traveled. Close side official had a good idea and a good look at the play. Did not see any slapping, any hits in the arm, anything of that nature, no holes, just a travel. And Michael Brown brings it down now to Spragley. Takes a screen from Mateen who rolls hard looking for the ball. Mateen now gets it on the inside with Powell. He works around, finds a triple team. Joe Conley now. And Mount Oliver turns the favor and travels on their end of the ball, on the area of the court. I believe after that last travel, Coach Higginbotham got a, a warning from the official on the close side over there for being outside of the coach's box or too far under the court. Ryan Mobley now back out to Arrington. Arrington trying to push the three-on-three -three break. Over to Roderick Howell. Howell in the corner, not thinking about the drive, looking to reset it. Howell on the outside of Mobley gets a pump fake. It's the second one, but has it stripped. Gets it back. Looks to the far side. Danico Jackson now at the top with 10 seconds to spare. Takes the screen from Roderick Howell. Gets the switch onto the team. Mateen looking for the strip. Nico Jackson, though, the floater in the middle lane, can't hit. Grabs his own rebound, throws it over to Howe. Up and in. Incredible effort by Nico Jackson to get his own rebound over the larger player. Tries to get the block down there. Joe Conley grabs the rebound. Mobley now pushing it up. And Coach Lister slowing his troops down. Nico Jackson now bringing the ball to the court. 22 to shoot. Working his route. Roger Howell takes the ball on the inside. Joe Conley now on the upward pass. Can't connect. Tries to get his own rebound, but Sprangley has it. Sprangley pushes the ball to Michael Brown. Immediately met by Danico Jackson, who now backs off. He comes around the outside. Roger Howell on the outside takes the pump fake and goes into the body of Mateen. Roger Howell's first foul of the day. We'll see Mateen to the line for the second time. Alan Treacle will enter the game again for Spragley. The senior, Daniel Burchett, coming back into the game for your Crusaders, along with number 21, A.J. Meyer. Crusaders have played the majority of the half without their leading scorer, Kobe Tate, who is out early with two fouls as Mateen will shoot his first free throw, the one and one, and he'll make it. Tate, an explosive force on the inside, leading the team not only in points but in rebounds as well. Well over 200 points now and 100 rebounds on the year. The team short on the second free throw. A.J. Meyer the rebound. Crusaders now looking to push the pace a little bit. Mobley in the middle of the lane. Fade away. And it's good. Mobley, an incredible young talent here at North Greenville, playing for Coach Chad Lister. That foul call to number 12, Robinson, his first of the afternoon. Mobley will go to the line to try to finish the old-fashioned three-point play now. And he rolled it in. Joe Conley now coming in, replacing the senior, Daniel Burchett. I tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't had the opportunity, you need to make the trip to Tigerville to watch Ryan Mobley play. His statistics may not show it because he's only got about five points right now. Uh, four, correction. But the kid plays with a lot of heart. He's the floor general out there, which is huge in the game of basketball. Any of y'all know it. That's Mobley. Correction, that's Mabane. Trying to go down the lane and end up getting fouled by Joe Conley, picking up his second of the afternoon.
LeBain now will try to pull, make the lead. We'll try to pull the lead within five. Full court pressure again from Mount Olive. Mobley trapped in the corner. Very quickly calls the timeout. Showing a very veteran play from a very young player. And with that timeout, we'll take a timeout as well here on the Crusaders Sports Network. As the shot clock has been turned off here in Tigerville, 24 seconds to play in the first half as A.J. Meyer will inbound to the backcourt to Mobley. I'm sure Coach Chad Lister is looking for the last shot of the half as he leads by five. Michael Brown now trying to come out and apply a little bit of pressure to Mobley. Coach Lister now calling for the run. A.J. Myers cuts through. Now looking for Roger Cowell on the inside. Mobley comes around, takes the... Now, Roger Cowell comes down and tries to finish with authority, but back irons it. The team will shoot from, from full court and will end up short. A great set ran by the Crusaders. Just couldn't finish on the back iron. But here at halftime in Tigerville, your Crusaders lead 31 to 26. This is the Crusaders Sports Network.
And we'll welcome you back here to the Crusader Sports Network. We'll just recap a little bit of the first half stats for you before we start this second half of play. Your Crusaders leading the uh, Trojans from Mount Olive 31 to 26. Crusaders thought, shot three points better in the first half. 41% from the field over the uh, Trojans 38. 2% better from three point range. As the Crusaders went two for nine off Caleb Arrington's two triples of the evening. And the Trojans went two for 10. The real difference for the Crusaders, points off turnovers and points in the paint. Crusaders lead the Trojans 22 to eight in points in the paint, led by Roger Powell and Joe Codley. Crusaders doing a very great job in the first half, pushing the ball down the floor and in low. Out of their 14 shots in the paint, 10 of them were assisted, meaning that the Crusaders are sharing the ball very well right now and playing as a unit. Coming out in this second half, we see the starters return to the floor. Number 15, Ryan Mobley. Your senior, one of your seniors, number four, Daniel Burchette. Number 22, Roger Cowell. Number 21, A.J. Meyer. And number three, Kobe Tate. Tate returning since the, since the fifth minute of the first half. Thanks to his two fou quick fouls. That's Michael Brown now working down baseline and finishing in for the Trojans. Daniel Burchette now taking the ball. They'll be working down the lane against Treacle. Mobley at the top of the key now. He's looking for A.J. Meyer in the left wing. Can't find him. Meyer now cuts up the top of the key and finds it. Takes the screen from Roger Powell. 11 to shoot. A.J. Meyer working. Lost the handle. Ball almost stolen by Michael Brown. And then eventually turned over to the Trojans at midcourt. Overall, Coach Chad Lister has to be happy with the performance that he's seen from his team so far. The team defense has been excellent. Rotations have been there on time. I say that as Daniel Pickford now comes on the roll down. And Daniel Burchett will pick up his third foul of the afternoon. Don Pickford to the line with his first points of the afternoon. <laughs> and he'll knock down a couple. The Trojans pull the win in one. Dan Leverchett now trying to get the ball inbounded. Finds A.J. Meyer, who will bring the ball to the court now with the man press. Now it comes to the trap. Mobley to the middle of the court as a safety valve. Mobley now to the left side. Left wing inside to Roderick Howell. Howell pushed out to the short corner. Now working the ball to the top of the key. He finds Meyer. Jump stops. Now takes a hard drive to the left side. Up and tries to finish. As the ball rolled around, our baseline official made the call on number 10, Michael Brown, his first of the evening. A.J. Meyer to line 4-2. And he'll make it. Meyer not a player that we saw a lot of time in the first half of the season here for Coach Chad Lister, but coming on strong in the second half. He played about 20 minutes in the win against Pensacola Christian, and he started now two games in a row as he banks that one in. Meyer a team favorite. A guy who gets the spirits up and an energy guy at practice, uh, according to Coach Lister. As we'll see, Mateen for three, rims out. Michael Brown fighting hard for the rebound. Don Pickford will finish with a dunk of sorts. Mobley working across the lane, regains his dribble, looks back out now, and he traveled. Freshman just trying to do too much in that possession right there. And he ended up turning the ball over. Michael Brown now will bring the ball down. He'll give it off to Robinson. Robinson crisscrosses with Treacle. Treacle over to Michael Brown. Takes the screen from Pickford. 
Back over to Treacle. Treacle looking inside, can't find Pickford. Kobe Tate on the inside. And Mount Olive will take their first lead since the two minute mark in the first half. AJ Meyer working the ball up the court. Michael Brown thought he was fouled and pushed off on that play. The official did not agree. Here comes Daniel Burchette driving across the lane. He looks inside for Kobe Tate. Can't find him. Mobley in the right corner. Works baseline. Pump fakes. Spins around. Tries to finish the reverse. Can't do it. Meyer gets, two re gets a rebound. Tries to get out there. Puts his own rebound up. Gets it again. And then throws it off the leg. And the officials are talking over the last possession about the shot clock reset. For sure, as of now, we know that Mobley will be throwing the ball in under his own basket. What the shot clock will be at will be determined by our officials upcoming. And it looks like our shot clock's been reset to 28 seconds after the miss by A.J. Meyer. Here in the basket, we've seen a couple of lobs to Roderick Howe and a little bit of up and, up, up and overs uh, to some of the taller players, not this time. Kobe Tate that goes in, comes in, takes the pass, and then goes cross court to Burchette, who missed the layup, and that rebound pulled down by Pickford. Michael Brown now working, takes a screen from Pickford. He slips, Robinson works baseline, met by Kobe Tate. He tries the layup, doesn't work. Then the ball lost. Out of bounds. What looked to be touched last by Robinson, who missed the layup, but the officials determined that it was last touched by North Greenville. 17-19 remaining. Crusaders now down one. Being outscored by the two and a half. Michael Brown now working. Got the slip from Mateen. Mateen lost the handle. Michael Brown now working inside. Kobe Tate goes around and finishes. A beautiful finish by Michael Brown there to get around the bigger 6-6 Kobe Tate. Daniel Burchett now working the ball up the floor. The Trojan lead is three. Daniel Burchett now working the ball. Trying to work his way in. Drives down the right side. Tries to finish in the front of the rim. Can't finish. Pickford takes the ball from him on the top. Michael Brown now working the ball down. Screen from Pickford. Cross court. Robinson works baseline. Back out to Treacle. Middle of the court. Across, Mateen on the outside for three. Can't hit. Kobe Tate now. And the Crusaders will work the ball down the floor slowly. 20 to shoot now. Lob pass for Roger Cowell who gets double on the inside. Blocked by Mateen. And Michael Brown will bring it down the ball. Crusaders did a really great job in the first half. Sharing the ball, getting out of double teams. Not doing so well early in this first, second half. Pigford looks for the inlet pass, knocked away by Kobe Tate. Now he looks to screen for Michael Brown, guarded by Mobley. He kicks out. Treacle tries to work baseline, cut off by Daniel Burchett. Mobley tried to steal, couldn't get it. The team, three to shoot, two to shoot. Can't get it up, Roderick Howe. And it's a shot clock violation, forced by the Crusaders. Now we'll see number 15, Tanner Poole, come back in for the Trojans. And the sharpshooter for North Greenville, number 10, Caleb Arrington. Hard half-court press here for the Trojans. Mobley bringing it down, 22 to shoot. He crossed up Michael Brown, went to finish. Over Tyler Poole, couldn't do it. Had a, got his hand on the ball. And the foul is called from behind by the in judge. Foul call on Mobley, his second. Crusaders fighting hard right now for every board, offensive and defensive. Picking up a, clip, a couple of quick fouls here in the second half. Michael Brown now coming up the court, slowing the ball down. A change of pace for the Trojans tonight. Picked up by Mobley. Looks like a little zone defense now from Coach as Robinson hits the three. Trojan lead pushed to six. Mobley bringing the ball down, now coming across. He crosses, fakes the cross to Arrington, dribbles under, dribbles around, now he's looking inside, finds Daniel Burchett coming across the top of the key. Mobley seems to be doing a lot right now, trying to dribble around instead of sharing. Arrington coming across, 
He looks inside. Roger Cowell gets inside, and the foul called on Tyler Poole. And that shot, and that foul will take us to our first media timeout of the half. Your Crusaders trail the Trojans 33-39 to here on the Crusaders Sports Network. back here on the Crusader Sports Network. Right before the break, Roger Howell is fouled at number 15, Tyler Poole, and is heading the line for two shots. Howell's done an incredible job getting the line this, this year for the Crusaders as he shoots about 56% from the line as he makes that one. Howell's taking over 80 attempts now from the line from the charity stripe, as they call it. And it's because of his hard work inside getting offensive rebounds. Mobley trying to apply some full court pressure. Well recognized by the Trojans. Lead cut to four now. Tyler Robinson bringing the ball to court. Met by Tate. He looked, Michael Brown looked inside, thought about it. Now Robinson driving to his left, takes a jumper. Maybe blocked from behind by Roger Cowell. Now Kobe Tate bringing the ball to the court for the Crusaders. Looking for somewhere to pass the ball off to. He finds Caleb Arrington. Arrington now at the top, 19 to shoot. The Trojans full court pressure has posed a threat for the Crusaders, taking an average of about 10 seconds off the shot clock every time. Burchette might want to get back as Treacle comes in. A great, a great steal by Daniel Burchette as Treacle went up for the layup. Reentering for the Trojans is number 14, Don Pickford. Yeah, as the Trojans will look to capitalize on the Crusader turnover. Robinson got, this, got the ball off the screen. Now they try to reverse the horn. Stopped by Treacle at the top. Over, back over to Robinson. Takes the screen from Pickford, looks at it. Tries the floater in the middle of the lane, doesn't work. Pickford gets an offensive rebound. Now Treacle will try the three-pointer. It's off the rim and over the backboard. And out of bounds. As the ball comes down, it's turned over. And the Trojans are racing back the other way. Michael Brown now working baseline, shoving off of. Now they reverse horn. Robinson open for three, and he knocks it down. And a timeout by Coach Chad Lester as he wants to talk over. We'll take a break here as your Crusaders trail 35 to 42 on the Crusaders Sports Network.
And welcome back here to the Crusader Sports Network. A little subbing here in the early goings of the second half. As UMO has only subbed their big man, number 14, Don Pigford, and Tyler Poole in and out. Coach Chad Lister has left his starters in for, for the entirety of this second half. Going on seven minutes now. Mobley makes a great move down. Finds Tate on the inside who gets a pump fake there. Then has it stolen away. Recovered by Daniel Burchett. Tries to find the inside. Then finds Tate. He shifts it out of bounds. After a good move by Mobley, get out of the trap. The Crusaders cannot capitalize on the offensive end. Coach Lister now up, trying to settle his troops down. They look a little out of control of sorts. Maybe a little disorganized on the offensive end. Still very much in this game right now, down seven. Towel timeout on the court. Wipe up a little sweat from a fallen player. Always good to keep our players safe, and so we wanted to have good footing. And now Michael Brown will bring the, bring the ball down the court on the right side. He'll take the screen from Don Pickford. Pickford popped out, found the short corner, but didn't like it. Michael Brown now looking inside back to Pickford. Pickford. They'll reverse the ball around and find Mabane on the outside. Mabane loses the dribble, and it goes out of bounds. UMO returns the favor to North Greenville on the turnover. Both teams right now unable, unable to capitalize on turnover points. The officials are having a discussion that we are unsure of at this point in time. But everything seems to be okay, and uh, we're going to be working everything out. Arrington looking to get the ball in, finds Burchett. Burchett now will bring the ball up. Switching positions with Mobley. He finds Roger Powell in the high corner. Tate looking inside. Got, maybe got away with a little bit of a travel. And now they call the travel. Lister, Coach Lister quickly going to his bench, bringing in Joe Conley, the 6'8 freshman. And following right behind him, Coach Higginbotham will bring in number 13, Spragley. Now we'll have Mabane from three as he hits over Roger Howe. Now we have Mobley on the other end, taking the screen from Conley. Conley now pops, reverses court to Arrington. Arrington thought about going baseline, gets the trap. Joe Conley working baseline now, looking cross court to Mobley. He drives in, finds Roger Cowell in the middle of the lane, and finishes. Michael Brown slowing the ball down for UMO. He spins off, goes baseline, tries to jump through Arrington and Mobley. And after the strip, the officials determined that Michael Brown was the last one to touch it, and the ball will be turned over to North Greenville. Now coming in for the Trojans, number zero, Mateen. Seeing his first action in the second half. Daniel Burchett now racing up the court. He's stopped there by number 11, Mabane. Now Mobley's calling out the set, trying to get the Crusaders organized. He takes a screen from Conley. The hands off to Arrington, who comes off and fires a triple and hits. Arrington, now three from four from three-point land. Crusaders now uh, trail by five. 
Everyone's looking inside, trying to find the ball. And Joe Conley got a hand on the ball, trying to get to Pickford. Causes the turnover. Treacle now entering the game for the Trojans. As Coach Higginbotham pulls out Mabane. Trojans applying full court pressure, double teaming Mobley. Joe Conley cuts up, takes it, and now Mobley will take it on the man press. Mobley comes across the court, mid court. He's looking in, they're getting everyone set. He's looking for Daniel Burchett on the left side and finds him. Who fakes the screen from, from Roger Howe. And now Burchett gets his own rebound and goes back in and scores. A great offensive step from the Crusaders. A little trickeration with the screen play. Arrington now guarding Spragley, fighting off the hand checking. Spragley reverses it. Over to Michael Brown now. Brown takes a screen from Pickford. Gets a double. Now Trico, Trico looks inside. Doesn't like it. Reverses court to Spragley, who drives midcourt. Takes it from the elbow and hits. And we'll get a timeout from UMO coach, coach Higginbotham. And it'll go to a media timeout. Here in Tigerville, your Crusaders trail by five, 42 to 47 to the Trojans of the University of Mount Olive. And we'll be right back here on the North Greenville Sports Network. And we're back here on the Crusaders Sport Network as your Crusaders trail by five here at the midway point through the second half. Caleb Arrington is looking to inbound the ball as Joe Conley finds streaking up the court. Conley driving down and finishes coast to coast for Conley. Conley, a 6'8 freshman for the Crusaders now, playing very well in his freshman campaign. Ball moved around by UMO to Spragley in the right corner. He now works up to the wing. Tries to take a screen from Pigford, doesn't like it. Now works back to the baseline, takes a contested, a contested layup over Joe Conley, which is a very unwise position. But uh, ends up taking it anyways, it rims out. And then we have a loose ball foul, call number 14. Don Pigford, his third. Arrington looking to inbound the ball again. Finds Mobley streaking up, two on one. Cuts through and finishes on the left side of the rim. A great move by the freshman. Now Michael Brown bringing the ball up the court. Slowing down a bit for my, Mount Olive. The full court pressure hasn't worked for him the last couple times. Mobley now coming across. Gets the hedge from Conley. Looking inside for Pickford. Conley double teamed. Double teaming Pickford. He loses the ball out of bounds and it's turned over to the Crusaders. The crowd starting to get into it here in Tigerville. The team's up on their feet. Crusaders now down one. This four points, this four point run, giving the Crusaders a little life. Here comes Mobley up the court. Now they'll work the half court set instead of transition. Treacle is locked in. He passes off to Burchett. Now Roderick Howell takes the ball at the elbow. Pass over to Conley. 
Conley looks at the flex screen, doesn't like it. Now Burchett comes off it, looks in the middle lane, doesn't like it. And now we have Harrington for three, and he rattles it in. Coach Chad Lish has got to be happy with his offense right now as they are rolling against the Trojans. The full court pressure didn't work, and that was an incredible half court set. Worked all the way, all five hands touch the pile. Now UMO's coming around. Spragley in the corner, he comes across. Mateen thought about the three, didn't like it. Now Treacle's got it on the right wing. He takes the screen from Pickford. Over to Mateen again, he tries to work baseline. Gets cut off by Roderick Howe. He's in the middle lane, pass off to Spragley who comes across. Arrington fell. Joe Conley contested at the front of the rim, but Spragley was there for the putback. Deadlocked at 49, the Crusaders and the Trojans. In a tight one here in Tigerville. Now Mobley working to get a set set. Daniel Burchett worked through. Mobley worked down the, the uh, block, didn't like it. Ended up working his way around Pickford and finished at the rim. Now Mobley's up in the face of Michael Brown, trying to cause a little bit of havoc. He now lets him back off and they'll work the half court defense. Treacle on the wing, screen from Pickford. All the way around the horn. It's Michael Brown in the corner now. He goes cross lane. He finds Mateen on the outside who shoots the three, and he'll hit. And we'll have a timeout called by North, correction, by Mount Olive. We're at the 7.45 mark. The Crusaders now down one, trailing the Trojans 51 to 52. This is the Crusaders Sports Network. Back here on the Crusaders Sports Network. Crusaders down one, trailing Mount Olive at the 7.45 mark here in the second half. Crusaders have turned on the lights of sorts offensively as they've hit three of their last four shots. A little confusion as we restart here. Coach Lister's pacing up and down, talking to the officials. So is Dan our Captain Daniel Burchett. Now Mobley's coming across, getting instructions from the bench. Joe Conley stands at the free throw line, now sets the screen. Mobley comes around, gets matched up on Treacle. He tried to go back door to Burchette, but threw it out of bounds. Turned over to Mount Olive. Now the Trojans working on offense. Almost turned the ball over there. Now Robinson from three. He'll miss. Offensive rebound by Treacle though. Now Mateen at the top of the key. Robinson working down. Thought about going baseline. Didn't like it. Treacle tried to get the pass. Now back doors. Michael Brown with the ball now on the left wing. He gets to switch off. Meets Poole in the middle. And he's fouled by Daniel Burchett. And that'll be Daniel Burchett's fourth foul of the afternoon. We'll send Tyler Poole the line for two. Poole, just a 28% free throw shooter, already missed two earlier tonight. And he gets that one to drop, pushing the lead to two. Here comes Danico Jackson replacing the four foul Burchett. And he misses the second one. Trojans now lead by two, 53 51. Jackson working the ball now across the key. Arrington looking inside, can't find anything. 
Mobley now on the right wing. Thought about working the middle. Spins middle now on Tyler Poole. Tried to go up and under, couldn't finish. And Poole comes down with the rebound. Trickle pushing the ball up the court. Tried to work it in and finishes. Joe Conley quickly inbounded to Nico Jackson, who's sitting in the backcourt. He's been back for five. He's working down now. Now crosses midcourt. Michael Brown now closely guarding to Nico Jackson as he tries to work baseline. Lost the ball. Got it back, though. Thought about the pass to Conley. Faked it. Faked the shot. And drew the, drew the defender to dump off of Conley for the two. Crusaders now down just two. And Mount Olive goes back to work on offense. Treacle works down. And it's Danico Jackson who's got the block. Not sure if he was inside the circle or if he would just wasn't there in time. From our angle, it looked like a clean, a very, very clean charge call, but the officials did not agree. Danico Jackson slow to get up. And as the court gets toweled off, the slow start to the free throw line. Treacle now there for two. Treacle, an 80% free throw shooter on the year. Hasn't had a chance, an opportunity tonight. This will be his first shot from the charity strike. And he knocks it down. Here's the game for your Crusaders now. Number three, Kobe Tate. Tate again, the leading scorer for the Crusaders, but hasn't played much tonight. Early on, he's in foul trouble in the first half. But Coach, Coach Chad Lister trying to save him for the end of the game here. And Trickle knocks down a pair. Arrington will now inbound with a full court pressure from Mount Olive. He gets it into Nico Jackson. Looks like a man press. Nico Jackson will take it himself. Nico coming across, looking to set up a play. Arrington comes on the cut through. Now he looks inside for Tate. Can't find anything. Joe Conley thought he wanted the screen, couldn't find it. And Nico Jackson gave it off to him. Nico Jackson with the layup. And draw the foul. That foul call number 12, Cameron Robinson, his second on the afternoon. Say what you want about the officials tonight, but they have been fair on both ends of the court. And they have done a very good job taking care of the whistle. Nico Jackson now at the line for a couple. As he knocks down the first one. As he knocks down a pair, bring up his average. Nico, just a 42% free throw shooter this year. Stepping down from where he was at last year during his freshman, uh, redshirt freshman campaign. Treacle makes a hard move down the lane and finishes. More full court pressure from Mount Olive. But Jackson gets the ball inbounded quickly. Jackson now working into the front court. Takes a screen from Tate. Tate looking inside, looking for the post up on the smaller Treacle. Arrington now looking inside, trying to get inside. Mobley now gets the cross court pass. Crosses over. Crosses over and it looks seems that he stepped out of bounds. That'll take us to our final media timeout of the half. Your score, Mount Olive 59, North Greenville 55. This is the Crusaders Sports Network.
And we're back here now with UMO bringing the ball to the court. A little full court pressure now. First time we've seen it from North Greenville. And now they're dropped back. Caleb Arrington guarding Treacle at the top. A little zone defense now, what looks like from Coach Chad Lister. It's sparkling. Treacle on the wing, now finds the team. Now Treacle again, driving to his left. Can't find any room. Robinson takes a deep three and hits. Late in the shot clock, saving the Trojans there. Here comes Mobley up the court. Now trailing by seven again. Anna Burchett working against Spragley. Finds Kobe Tate. Now Roderick Howell looking inside. Can't find anything. Hands off to Burchett. Burchett crosses over. Back to the middle of the floor. Thought he had it. Couldn't find it. Spragley with a steal. Now Treacle working down the court. But no call by the official. Here's Mobley working Treacle. Spragley over there. And Burchett will pick up his fifth foul. And the senior will have a seat with his fifth foul. A.J. Meyer will come in to replace the fouled out for Chet. Treacle will try to inbound. Now Michael Brown at the top of the key. Guarded by Mobley. Takes the screen from Mateen. Michael Brown surveying. Doesn't like what he sees. Reverses court. That's Robinson in the corner. Gets a switch. Treacle works inside. Robinson for three again. And he's short. Gets his own rebound though. Mateen now slowing the ball down. Robinson over to Michael Brown. Coach Higginbotham telling his guys to relax. Trying to run some clock, perhaps. 3.16 left in the game. Now Treacle over to Robinson, looking inside for Pickford. Out to Treacle, who got away with the walk. A.J. Myers closely guarding him. And Treacle stepped out of bounds before a pass. Ball turned over to the Crusaders. An immediate jump from the Trojans. Now Mobley's looking back over to Arrington. Arrington looks to the middle with Tate. Tate going in. And Pickford draws the foul. Charge call to number three, Kobe Tate. His third of the night. Coach Lister not happy with the call. As Pickford was close to the circle. And still possibly moving. Michael Brown now moving the ball. Distributing to his playmakers. Treacle now. Screen from Pickford. And the moving screen call. That's Pickford's fourth foul of the night. Maybe something to watch here in the last 241. Coach Lister calling out his play, making sure he has his guys set. Not wasting any time here. Mobley now bringing the ball up. Takes the screen from Roderick Howell. Kobe Tate now thought about the shot, looked inside to Roderick Howell, didn't like it. Howell trying to post up the smaller Michael Brown. Now finds it. And Michael Brown will commit the foul down low as he worked against the bigger Howell. His second. Mobley now to inbound, 20 to shoot for the Crusaders. Now A.J. Brown on the out, A.J. Meyer on the outside, jump stops in, tries to get inside, but Pigford rejects the shot. Crusaders will try to inbound again. 17 left on the shot clock. Mobley looking anywhere. Now throws it way backcourt to Kobe Tate. 
will take the ball. 13 to shoot. Mobley now moving. Takes a screen from... He's now working inside. Tries to do a lot. And finishes against Pigford. Timeout. Coach Lister. After the shot by the phenomenal freshman, Crusaders trail by five, 57 to 62. We'll see you after break here at the Crusaders Sports Network. Now back of the Crusader Sports Network, 2.03 left here in that game. And Mount Olive inbounding. Crusaders in need of a stop here to keep the game in within reach. A little full court pressure, and here's the trap. And Yumo quickly breaks the press. Mobley now pressing Michael Brown. He gets a high screen from Pickford. Gets the switch on to Kobe Tate. Switch back. A.J. Meyer now on the wing. Robinson looking inside, couldn't get it to Pickford. Michael Brown driving, shoves off of Mobley. That's Treacle with a deep three, and he hits. Here comes Mobley bringing the ball up the court. Crusaders now trail by eight. Meyer working in the middle of the lane, can't find any room against Mikkel. Mobley now directing traffic, trying to find any space. Six to shoot. Five, four. And we'll have a foul down low. Foul call to number 14, Pigford. His fifth of the game. As he will foul out. In comes Tyler Poole for the Trojans. That foul will put the Crusaders into the one and one territory and send Roger Powell to the line. Al's been good from the line tonight, hitting his first two free throws. Ah. And there's a stoppage in play right now to get Danico Jackson in the game for A.J. Meyer. As Roger Howell hits the first one, bring the Crusaders within seven. The Crusaders will win this game in the last 103. They're going to need a couple stops and a couple big baskets, maybe from Arrington and their phenomenal freshman, Mobley. As we hit one minute remaining in the game, full court pressure from the Crusaders now, trying to find a trap. Michael Brown now on the outside, Mobley giving pressure. It's a high screen from Tyler Poole. Double teamed by Kobe Tate. Now the ball reversed around to Treacle. Tate on Poole. Poole working inside hard. Stolen away. Arrington with a steal. He pushed the ball down the floor. Roderick Howell working inside and the layup. And we'll get a full timeout from Coach Chad Lister. Down five. Crusaders now down 60 to 65 here in the late, the late second half. This is the Crusaders Sports Network.
As we bring you back here to the Crusaders Sports Network, your Crusaders still trail five, five points to the University of Mount Olive, 60 to 55 in the last 30 seconds of the game. You expect Coach Lister to have something set here where he might get a quick foul or any type of turnover once they get past midcourt. Trojans working their way up. Arrington tried to foul, couldn't get it. And now Mobley's gonna foul Michael Brown with 21.7 left. And now number 15, Tyler Poole will come back in the game, replacing Spragley. Michael Brown, the best free throw shooter on the Trojan team at 82% this year, has knocked down a pair tonight. And he hits the first one. At this point, the Crusaders have to be thinking three-pointer Possibly from Caleb Arrington, their sharpshooter from deep. Mobley has hit one tonight, so he is an option. Roderick Howell and Kobe Tate, however, have not attempted a three-pointer on the year. Mobley, though, however, going to the rim, trying to finish. And he'll finish, and one! Mobley didn't think they needed a three, they just needed an old-fashioned three as he drove the lane against Tyler Poole. Great of the game for the Trojans, number 13, Spragley. The game for the Crusaders, number 21, A.J. Meyer. I couldn't imagine the coach, Chad Lister, would let the Trojans run about 10 seconds out of the clock in the front court, or in the back court, excuse me. That if they got the ball in without a, without a steal, that they would foul immediately. And they get the ball in immediately with 15.4 left. Mobley fouls Spragley. Spragley, a 72% free throw shooter on the year, has not attempted one tonight, however. He's played a big role tonight for the Trojans, not in the scoring wise, but in a team uh, distributor of sorts. As he hits the first one, Sanders down down four. And now he makes the second one. 15.4 left here, as the Trojans will come up into the front court. Ball inbounded to Arrington, ahead to Mobley. Mobley pushes in hard. Eurostep, tries to finish, can't. A.J. Meyer tried to get out there, but he couldn't. And it's Mateen, Mateen with the rebound. Fouled by number 22, Roderick Howell. Down five with 5.9 left, Mateen goes to the line. Trying to ice the game for the Trojans. You would imagine that if Mateen does hit these two free throws, he would ice the game indeed for Coach Lister's squad. The crowd trying to get into it here in Tigerville, trying to entice Mateen to miss it as he hits the first one. Mateen with his second free throw. Again, 5.9 left on the shot, on the clock. And he makes it. Now up seven, the Trojans will apply a little full court pressure to ice this game correctly as Danico Jackson will run down the court and essentially run out of the clock, trying to take a three just for the sakes of it. He puts it up and he'll make the shot. 
And that's your final here in Tigerville as the Trojans have defeated the Crusaders 65 to 70. We'd like to thank you for watching here on the Crusader Sports Network. And we have, wish everyone a happy new year. And I will see you the next time in Tigerville. God bless. Good night.